here's a few things about grid snapping that might not know about in Visual Desktop. This page I've set up with fixed grids. So we look here, we've got fixed grid spacing, and the minimum spacing I've set for horizontal 30 millimeters and vertical 15 millimeters, which is actually the same size as these shapes that I've got down on there. I also, if I go to the design tab and go and look in the layout and go to spacing, I've set the space between shapes as 30 millimeters and the vertical horizontally that is, and vertically 15 uh, millimeters. So we can see that I've got a, a fixed grid here. And if I've just got a normal Visio shape, i.e. these uh, orange colored ones here, right? What would happen? So even though I've got on the uh, view and visual aids, I have got snap to grid on, not ruler divisions. What I wanted to do is to snap to the grid layout there exactly and on these uh, rectangles they've got there i've set the um, pin x or local pin x and local pin y in the bottom left hand corner so if i i just move try and move the shape you can see that i can move it here manually and it is not necessarily going on the grid if i use the arrow keys to move the shape you can see that it is not necessarily going onto the grid, it will end up on the grid. Uh, sometimes it'll go a third of the way. In the, as you can see here, they're going half the way down the grid and then it's a full grid. So that's what uh, the normal Visio does. And also if I was to switch on, as you can see the dynamic uh, grid, now, uh, sorry, the auto connect, you can see it is going off to the right there uh, for from grid width. And if I go down, it's going down at the bottom there. So not exactly what I would expect uh, as far as the movement of this shape is concerned, because I really wanted them to snap to the grid exactly. If I compare that now with these blue shapes, these blue ones here have got a little extra smart shape functionality in there. So they actually will automatically trigger to go onto the grid. So if I click on one of these, and if I try to move it um, by dragging it, and I let go, it will snap to the grid. As you can see here, it is snapping uh, to the grid. And if I use the arrow keys, it's going across one grid and down one grid. So that's the sort of behavior I want. And uh, the snapping, uh, sorry, the Auto placement is also doing the right thing, going off to the one grid, to the left and to the right. And I put one extra thing in here is I've also made this control handle so that it snaps to the grid, as you can see there. So that is the behavior that I want my shapes to have on these pages where I've got a fixed grid. 